being round the sides where the router just to take the, the depth of the sides down a little. I've cleaned the sides up with a scraper and a bit of sandpaper and now I'm going to route, route the channels properly. So uh, the binding channel first, then I do the, the back purfling and then I do the top purfling. So it's uh, three different bearings I need and then I have to clean it up and uh, I'll show you that as well. Okay. When you change the uh, bearing, make sure you disconnect the power. Because my purfling is mitered, I can't just zip straight across with the cutter. What I have to do is stop shy by that side, so I'll show you how I do that. I mark, I'm trying to do this with a camera in one hand and a pencil in the other, I mark a white line about a millimetre from that centre strip and I eat away see that? I eat away with the cutter when the white line goes I stop I've marked some spots here I'm going to cut those areas backwards you got less chance of, uh, of of it tearing if you cut backwards. Once I've cut backwards I then cut around the whole thing forwards. Refer back to this piece here. This has each bearing in front of the bearing is the depth of slot it cuts. So there's the heron bone goes in, next to it is the binding. So that's the one for there. Um, and I've marked on the top again where to cut backwards and then uh, the whip around the whole thing forwards. The top's pretty easy. You've got to make sure you use a sharp cutter. Um, if you don't, you're going to tear the spruce. 